So here I've got a simulation that's going to help show a little bit about how the greenhouse effect works. And what I've got here is I've got a choice of different molecules. Now CH4 is methane, CO2 is carbon dioxide, H2O is water, N2 is nitrogen, and the O2 is oxygen. Maybe hard to see on the video, but as I move my mouse over these, it actually mentions what type of atom that is. Then over here, I've got a gun. Well, it's a photon emitter, a light gun here, that's going to put out either an infrared photon or a visible photon. And so when I allow some photons to go through, we see that visible photons just go right through oxygen. Same thing with nitrogen. I'm just going to get a stream here going. Then you got water. Again, visible photons just go right through it. Carbon dioxide and the methane. So all of our different atoms here, visible light just kind of goes right through it. But the situation is going to change when we switch over to infrared photons. Some of them will go through, but then some of them are absorbed, cause the molecule to vibrate, and then the photons get sent off in another direction. So methane is what we call a greenhouse gas because it has this effect where the infrared photons are absorbed and cause the molecule to vibrate. Carbon dioxide also will absorb some of the infrared photons. Water molecules will also absorb some of the infrared photons. Nitrogen does not absorb any of the infrared photons. And oxygen does not absorb any of the infrared photons. So what we learn from this simulation is some gases, like nitrogen and oxygen, respond, or more to the point, don't respond to infrared and visible photons. But other molecules, such as water, carbon dioxide, and methane, absorb infrared photons but let visible photons pass through.